So here we have eight uh, new uh, 105 amp hour um, LIFE PO4 batteries. Um, now normally this wouldn't be, that wouldn't be much of a video, but man, the struggle to get these eight batteries was ridiculous. I ordered these six months ago. And the problem is they, they showed up in two or three months, not too bad, but one of them had leaked and it had leaked electrolyte over all the other batteries and it itself, you know, you know, and it was leaking, so I can't use it. So then I end up with the problem that I have seven <laughs> good batteries and one leak battery. And obviously I'm not going to ship them all back. And so I have to file an AliExpress complaint. And then the seller, you know, he wants pictures and video and doesn't believe me. And, you know, and then I send him the pictures and the videos. And then finally AliExpress has to step in and they give me a hundred dollar credit, which is fine. Except now I got to order one battery and no one sells one battery by themselves. They always sell them in four or eight because you're going to build a 12 volt or a 24 volt, um, you know, battery. And eventually I actually did find a seller who, who was selling one, thank goodness. And then of course this took three months to come and it missed the boat and there was tracking issues, but I do have eight batteries now. Thank goodness. Um, here is the leaked battery. You can see it's all, it leaked electrolyte and it's, it's all gross. Um, so I got to dispose of that somehow, but, and this is our replacement battery here. This new one here, it's in great shape. Now these are Lito Carlas. Lito Carlas are kind of, they're kind of crappy batteries, but they're cheap. Um, and these probably won't be 105 amp hours. They'll probably be, 80 or 90 amp hours, but that's fine for what I want. They are really cheap. And the nice thing is these ones actually are all um, nice and square. There's no real bulging on any of them. This one might have a, sl no, this one's not too bad. Um, they're all actually in, in, you know, really nice and square and, and no real bulging. I'm pretty happy with the condition of these. These are way better than the previous leader collars that I ordered, which were all bulged. These ones are all pretty square. So I'm pretty happy with these. Um, but uh, I am gonna show you the footage of these batteries arriving because I was gonna do a big unboxing video and it ended up being a disaster. So let me cut away to the, the unboxing video and then I'll bring you back. Okay, it is new battery time. I have received a batch of uh, LiPo 4 batteries. Now, I ordered two sets of batteries two months ago. One 15 kilowatt set that's gonna power my large office UPS and a smaller set of batteries that is also gonna be an office UPS but it's only gonna be powering some network equipment so it's a much smaller power wall. This is the batteries for the second the smaller power wall the irony is i ordered these like two or three weeks after i ordered the first set of batteries and these have arrived first so i'm gonna have to go track the larger power wall and see where those batteries are but we have batteries so let's check these out now i ordered these from lito Carla. i have ordered from lito Carla before and the batteries arrived swollen and not grade a but on the first batch i ordered I ordered, the, this batch was promised to be grade A. They were cheap, which is why I ordered them. Um, but these were promised to be grade A. So I'm hoping these don't show signs of, of being swollen and are in pristine condition, but let's find out. Two sets of bus bars. Uh, we are going to have to tip this on its side, I think. Um, you know, nicely packaged so far. Let's see. Okay, 
there are our cells. Oh, this one is fully leaked. Right out the bat, this one is leaked electrolyte. So this one is already a bad, bad cell. That is terrible. That's bad. Now I'm going to wipe my hands get this electrolyte off my hands. That is not a good start for one of these grade A cells. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, this one looks okay. This one looks okay. I'm just seeing if they sit flush. They do sit pretty flush, not too much swelling. This one sits flush. Interesting that um, this one actually seems like it's the shell. I don't know if you can tell the shell. It's actually bent on the side, kind of weird. And interestingly, these are different, different label. Oh no, no, this is just a heat. This label's just seen some heat damage. So, um, all right, let's pull out the rest of these. This one, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. And this last one is not too bad. So these batteries are not swollen, but I have to say this, look at this. This one, the plastic is all marred up and actually chipped and damaged. Yeah, I mean, obviously this is clearly a, a, a highly used cell. I mean, look at the, look at the damage to the top of this terminal. And this was cut with a, this was cut with a saw or something. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Actually, I have to say one of these cells feels, One of these other cells feels a little wet. Nah, this may just be the one that was next to the one that did leak. Hang on, this one feels wet too. Yeah, this one. This one is wet as well. So I think I have, this one's wet as well. I think, I think half these cells are leaking. So that is super unfortunate. I'm gonna to have to email Lido Carla and yell at them. This is terrible. I mean, I waited two months and half these cells have leaked. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to contact them and we'll see. I'll give you an update. Okay, so my replacement Lito Kala has just shown up. Box is a little beat up, but here it is. Let's see and pray and hope it didn't leak because the last one leaked. That's why I had to get a single replacement cell. It was such a pain getting just one replacement cell. Let's pray and hope it didn't leak. Okay, it did not leak and it is fairly square. QR code is intact. 
Um, yeah, it doesn't seem bulged. Now let's see how this compares to one of my other cells that I received. Let me mark it quick. Okay, this cell, the piece of tape on it, is the battery I had received in my original batch. And now this is the new battery here. Um, the label's on the opposite side. <laughs> but besides that, these do look identical. Are the QR codes similar? Uh, yes, they're both labeled 105 amp hours on the QR codes. Um, so yeah, I think my replacement cell is a dead-on match, just a couple months difference on the date code. But I think it's a dead-on match, so I think I'm good to go and I can actually build this battery now. All right, let's see how matched these cells are. So this one on the end is the one I just received. And these ones have been sitting on my shelf for six months. So let's see what we're dealing with here. 3 3 3.28, 3.28, 3.28, 3.28, 3.28, 3.28, 3.28, 3.28, 3.28, and here's the one I just received. 3.32 so it is it is newer and and you know these would have discharged slightly so uh, that's not too bad out of curiosity even though i don't like to handle this one with the electrolyte on it let's see what the leaked one is showing <laughs> 3.28 so even though it did leak everywhere it is actually holding its voltage almost perfectly with these other cells, which is kind of funny. Um, but we now have eight uh, good cells and uh, we can get back on track doing our UPS project. So in the next video, we'll, we'll start doing some, we'll build this up and build a bit of a case for it and we'll start working on, you know, doing some UPS testing. I just want to say that ordering these cells from China is becoming more and more of a pain and there are more and more US sellers. Um, I recently found a seller that actually sells these for cheaper than I can buy them. And their warehouse is in Houston and I'm in Houston. So uh, more and more there are US sellers who are selling good name brand cells for the same price as ordering from China. So I think the days of me ordering from China are, are over and any future purchases will be from a US seller because there are now sources in the US that have good comparable pricing. So, uh, you know, hopefully I never have to deal with six months of shipping again.